What's good, Sasa Family? It's your boy North TV back with another reaction. This one is a little bit something different, you heard me? So, like, you know, we always explore the good sides of K-pop, the music, the production-wise, and, you know, all the good things and the hard work that they put through. But let's, you know, go into the back end and see what's going on with the ones who disbanded. These are the ones, the groups that disbanded just this summer. So we're going to check out their situations and we're going to talk about it and whatnot. If you want me to react to, uh, I do have, um, there's another video um, from last year. If you want me to react to this, that one, uh, make sure y'all thumbs up. Just get, let's get five likes on this video. Um, I also can react to the groups that just debuted this year. I'm going to probably react to it anyway, but let's just get... You know, you know, let's just comment down below um, which group interests you the most and which group situation that, you know, you know, doesn't, you know, just doesn't sit well with you because it's crazy out there. I'm telling you that for sure. It is crazy. But let's go ahead and lock on in. Think good ever lasts forever. And the same goes for these K-pop groups that broke oh. up the season. Hold on. Me and, me and Echoes don't do too damn good. Here. We, in, we in the Zone was a four member boy group under Tune Entertainment. They debuted on May 27, 2019, with their first. Two years ago? That's actually technically a year and some months. Already? Damn. First self titled mini album. On January 15, 2021. Member Kyung Hoon announced on his Instagram account that the group unfortunately disbanded, as all of the members terminated their contracts. Anyway was a seven-member boy group under Kith Whale Company. They debuted on April 19, 2019. Another one. They must have got. They must have got affected by the pandemic, because what from what I've seen on another video, a lot of groups you know suffered because of the pandemic. And it all comes down to, you know, those who, you know, who have a strong team and strong uh, company about how they go about that and survive like that. Like, look at people like Stacy. Stacy started when the pandemic was, st pandemic was uh, you know, just get kicking off. And you see how much they grown and come and came out with some bangers. Like, it's possible. You just, it's just, you know comes down to your hustle skills with their first single bloom on january 22nd 2021 kith whale announced through the group's fan cafe that hanoi had disbanded after avin jinwoo and j kid decided to terminate their contracts while the remaining four members would continue activities under the agency seven o'clock was a seven member boy group under forest network they debuted on march 16th 2017 with the release of their first mini album, Butterfly Effect. On March 2, 2021, Forest Network announced through their fan cafe that the group had disbanded and that the agency are in discussions regarding future individual activities. One Teen was a five member boy group under Live Works Company. So, it's a good, so from what I'm seeing, there's a lot of boy groups out there that's going on with it. And I'm not going to lie to you. The boy groups don't seem as successful as the female groups, bro. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't know why, but it's just what it is. Like, because I don't mind listening to any of the boy. Uh, I, 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 don't hate me for saying this. Don't judge me for saying this. But I don't really like BTS, though, bro. I really don't. If anything, I'm actually like Stray Kids and uh, EXO more than any other group. Like... So, I mean, I could tell that, you know, versus, because, you know, when you talk about the female groups, they, you know, their audience is so diverse and it's so big. But when it comes to the guys, you don't really see, you know, get the same level of excitement for it. I guess it's just because, you know, 
everybody wants to see the females because they're you know the beauty standards and stuff like that and so attractive and all that stuff and you don't see many guy reactors or anything like that the youtube reactors reacting to k-pop groups either so yeah man it's tough out here man i wouldn't be surprised if we saw a couple more uh boy groups disbanded bro they debuted on march 27 2019 with their first mini album hello on March 10, 2021, LiveWorks Company announced through their fan cafe that the group ended official activities on March 14, and also terminated their contract with the company as a group. They also added that one team's official channels will be closed on March 31. Sun Han Kim, former member of Seven O'Clock, Lee Jin Woo, and Moon Ji Yoon, former members of One Team. Oh, I already know what I was about to say. So all the people that, you know, was in uh, disbanded groups came together. And let, let me find out they all disbanded again, bro. And Park Jin Woo, Han Jun Hoon, and Yang Yuk, former members of Inoi, will be debuting in a new group called Omega X. Oh, okay. Hotshot hmm. was a South Korean boy band formed by Star Crew Entertainment. They debuted on October 29, 2014, with their digital single, Take a shot. On March 30th, 2021, Star Crew Entertainment announced that Hotshot disbanded. Black Six was a six member boy group formed by Black Hole Entertainment. They debuted on April 17th, 2017. Bro, from what I'm seeing with all these boy groups, bro, it's just crazy how many of them disbanded, bro. Y'all might as well have started off with a single artist and built on from then on, bro. That's crazy, bro. Man, let me be y'all consultant. Man, I'm going to show you some hustle skills on how to make some money during this pandemic, bro. Because like I said, a lot of these, you know, companies go under between bad management and financial reasons, bro. Man, let me be a consultant or something. Be a part of some company, man. I'm going to show you how you do it, man. How you take care of people and hustle, bro. That's just simple, bro. It's not that hard. You take care of people. You make more money, bro. Just like these nine to five jobs in America, bro. They don't never want to take that pay cut up top so that people on the bottom, quality workers on the bottom can actually be motivated to make them more, even more money, bro. I hate that. I hate that mindset, bro. With the release of their first single, Please, they officially disbanded on April 16th, 2021, after four years of promotions. Eyes One was a South Korean Japanese. The first girl group on here. Wait, didn't I react to Eyes On too? Hold on, I think I reacted to Eyes On. I'm gonna have to check that out because I don't think I, I don't think I did. It's crazy. This girl group formed through the Myth Reality Competition Show Produce Forty Eight. Eyes One made their official debut on October twenty eighth, twenty eighteen, with their first extended play, Color Is, on April twenty ninth, twenty twenty one. Ice One officially disbanded after the end of their contract. B.O.Y. was a South Korean pop duo formed by The Music Works in 2019. On April 30, 2021, The Music Works announced that Yuvin's contract expired, and that he intended to enlist for his mandatory military service. As a result, B.O.Y. would officially disband and end activities. Very Good was a girl group formed by Asia Bridge Entertainment in 2014. The group had undergone many lineup changes throughout their career. On May oh, damn. I already knew they was going to not last. If your company has to go through lineup changes like that, from the last video was talking about Black Swan, about how things wasn't going right behind the scenes, that's probably a prime example of probably things going on behind the scenes that, you know, was taking the management wasn't taking good care of the artists. Like, bro, I I don't know what was was even crazier, bro. Like, there's so many companies out there that don't take care of their artists, but yet they want to make so much money off of them. Like I said, you have good if you have good moral standards and know how to treat your art your your artists the people under you you can make more money still by still in and by protecting your assets bro 
You don't have to take do, do all that crazy shit just to get attention, bro. It don't work. It don't work at the end of the day, bro. People just need to realize, bro. Like, look how beautiful these girls is. You think they ask to be, because, you know, K-pop artists go through a lot of, like, mental stuff and when they're training, overwork, undervalued, and unappreciated. You think they you think they want to deal with all that stuff? No, their job is to go out there and produce for you, bro. Make you money and make them money and do this thing that they love. When you don't take care of these artists, you kill their passion, bro. You kill their passion and their motivation. And then some of them um, receive trauma too because you just like you hear with the scandals and stuff they got, they got going on behind the scene. Why? Take care of your artists, bro. Stop it. Stop it, bro. It's not hard, bro. If you horny or something, you around females all day, you got money, you can do anything you want with money. Go, you can go. Go on the street, flash some money or something. You, you don't, don't mess with your assets, bro. Take care of your assets, bro. May 12th, 2021. Very good, officially disbanded. Uh, G Friend was a six member girl group formed by I Source did. Music in 2015. On May 22nd, 2021. All six members left Source Music upon the completion of their six-year contract, and the group officially disbanded. Zim was a three-member group formed by A100 Entertainment in September 2020. On June 1, 2021, their agency announced their disbandment less than one year after their debut. What the hell? One year? Jesus Christ, bro. The company must have not know what they was doing or something. Like, Jesus Christ. And, and this message right here, I hope all members of these Chris Pine happiness, success in their chosen path. I'm not going to, I'm not going to lie to you. About seven, I don't want to say about seven out of the ten of the people that, that was in, broke this band in this group are probably going to try to reach out to other different groups and try to be involved with them too. Try to, you know, find better management because it always comes down to management if you have really good managers they'll really motivate you to want to stay and put up with it bro like imagine when blackpink's contracts uh and uh come on um, you know come, when it comes to the table you know when they get to the end of their contract and how you know successful they've been but how but how would they feel about it personally about continuing to pursue it you know because once you make it as big or you make it a certain milestone, it's like, why should I still, why should I still put up with this? Or when it comes down to, you know, you've been over, going work so much, but you don't see the fruits of your success. Then that kills your motivation. You say, you know what, I'm gonna focus on my family, focus on myself, my mental health, you know? Things like that in nature. But if y'all like this video, let's get five likes on this video. I'm out, man. Is it too